to Heath Riles Barbecue. On today's episode of Shooting the Q, we're going to be cooking honey butter boneless turkey breast on the Traeger grills. Let's get started. Now the first thing I want to do is go ahead and prepare my rub. I'm going to use one cup of my honey chipotle. I'll go ahead and put it in a sandwich bag. I'm going to use a half a cup of turbinado sugar. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of coarse ground black pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead, take that, seal it up and go ahead and get it all incorporated and mixed up. Just kind of set it to the side and get it ready to go on my turkey breast. You just want to mix everything up accordingly. That way it's all good and incorporated. Alright, let's set it to the side and get ready for these turkeys. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get them out of the pack. Now, I'm not going to inject these and I'm not going to brine them. Here's the reason why. These from Butterball, these three pound boneless turkey breasts, already come with a solution. It says on the pack contains 20% of a solution of water, salt, natural flavor, food starch, phosphate, and other ingredients. So there's really no need to brine, it's already been done for you. And so these are always going to turn out when you're buying a good product like Butterball really well. Alright, let's go ahead and get them all out of the pack and dry it off and ready to season. Now you can see once we remove the turkey breast from the packaging, it's in a netting. It's okay to cook this in the netting. If you want to remove it, you can, but just remember your turkey breast is going to lay out when you do that, and it might be some pieces rolled in it, so it's going to make your turkey breast smaller. So the only thing I want to do is go ahead and trim this net off to the edge, basically, you know, and that way I'm not fooling with that part. So once I do that, go ahead and get that knocked down. Turn around this side, there's a little piece hanging. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my mixture. I've got mixed up in a dredge here, it's got bigger holes in it, I incorporated all three of my ingredients, remember that. Go ahead and start seasoning everything. Now I want to get a good coat on this, because remember when you pull this netting off, some of it's going to come off after you get done cooking it. Now you just want to coat it really, really good. And that turbinata sugar is going to help with that good caramel color that you're going to get on here from the Traeger. And we're smoking with pecan pellets today at 325 degrees. Now some people are going to say, oh that's too hot, that's too fast. That's actually what these turkey breasts are recommended to cook at from the factory. You can do whatever you want. I just like it to render the way I do. I'm going to roll around all of them, get them. Now, if your grill's still coming up the temp, you can let them set out and get ambient. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to stick mine on the grill. So that's all I'm going to do. We're going to let them cook for one hour, and then we're going to get a probe in them and get them on up to temp to 165 before I pull them. Now I'm still using my clean hand to open the grill with. I'm going to go ahead and get these turkey breasts on. I'm going to go ahead and lay them on my bottom rack, right center of the grate. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to touch this up just a little bit where I touched it. So I can form a nice bark on top of that. Now once I get that on there like I want, I'm going to go ahead and shut the grill lid and let it go for one hour. All right, our turkey has been on for an hour right now. I'm going to go ahead and raise the grill lid. You see it's starting to form a really nice bark. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some spray butter. I had one that don't have the mesh on it that's really small that I put in here for us to snack on for lunch while these are cooking. So once I spray that with a little bit of spray butter, I'm going to go ahead and get my probe in the smaller one. Go about center ways. You can see that it's setting about 118 degrees, almost 119. I've got my alarm set for 145. I'm going to take them out and I'm going to wrap them up then. I'm going to get the grill lid shut and let it go. Alright, so after one hour, we put a probe in our turkey breast, set the alarm for 145, and it took 30 more minutes to get them to 145. All we've done is put them on and spritz them with butter one time at the one hour mark. Now I want to get them out of the mesh and go ahead and get them wrapped up and carry them on up to about 160 before we pull them. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do get this over here. I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to slice on this back side 
which would be that mesh. I'm going to find a piece of it. I guess you need to make sure you cut all of them. And so, go ahead and start unrolling it out of that. And you see it don't take a lot of the bark off or anything like that. Now, once you get it like that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put one pat of butter underneath it. Alright. Take one of my gloves off here. I'm going to layer honey all over it. And once I get that done, I'm going to come back with the other half a stick of butter. Alright. And then I'm going to wrap them up. That's all I want to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and crinkle that down. And twist my edges up and put it up on top. And get it back on the cooker with a probe in it and set it to 160, 161, 162. And I'll pull it and let it rest. Alright, let's get these back on the grill. Alright, our turkey breasts are off the grill. They've been resting for about 35 minutes so far. We had a total cook time of about 2 hours and 15 minutes total. Now, like I said... These turkey breasts were easy to do because I kept it simple, no injection or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get them out of the foil, get them on the cutting board, and get them ready to cut. Alright, just to recap before we get started slicing here. We took our boneless three pound butterball turkey breasts. We didn't inject it. We took a combination of our honey chipotle rub, black pepper, and some turbinado sugar, coated the outside, and we left the mesh wrapped around it so we could form the turkey breast up while it cooked. We went ahead and we cooked it an hour, we spritzed it with butter, we stuck a chef's alarm in it. We continued to cook it for another 30 minutes until it got to 140, 145 degrees. We then took it off, wrapped it up in butter and honey. We then set our probe for 160 degrees, we pulled them off, we let them rest for about 35 minutes, and now it's the time to slice them, and I can't wait any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here. Oh man, the juices looking good on this thing. I like cutting mine about a pencil thick. This is going to make some really good sandwiches right here. Now you can see I've got my turkey breast here. It's nice and juicy and moist and look at all that moisture coming out of that turkey breast folks. So good. Now these slices are going to be good and moist here. I'm going to go ahead and take me a little bit out of here out of the center here. Mmm. That is so good. Shut the front door. Mmm. Mm-mm. Now, to make it even better, I'm gonna go ahead, slice the rest of this up, get it in my pan, and pour those juices over it. Alright, now once I've got my turkey bear sliced, I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in my pan here. And I'm gonna kind of layer it out. Now, this is optional. You can do this, or you can choose not to. I'm going to go ahead and take what we reserve these juices, and I'm going to pour over this turkey breast in this pan. Oh, and that's going to be good right there. If you like what we're doing, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel here. Share it with your friends. We're going to keep putting out weekly videos and recipes. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Heath Rouse BBQ. Like I said, be sure to follow and like and subscribe. We'll keep putting out these videos for you weekly. Thanks.